Hey y'all, my name is Cassie Vercalde and I am here promoting MillenniumHealthAndFitness.com virtual, on-demand, and live stream schedule, which you can find on our website, www.MillenniumHealthAndFitness.com. And before you begin this class, make sure you click, like, share, and subscribe with your notifications turned on so you can join us again in the near future. Join us live on Facebook. Details are in the link below in the description. Thanks so much, y'all. Go ahead and get started. And so today's um, flow is a vinyasa flow. And um, we are going to go kind of just a regular flow. We'll peak today. We will hit um, tree pose with um, opportunity to do a little lean in your tree, which is always fun. Um, and, then to the, and then at the end, we will go into um, boat pose with an opportunity, if you'd like to twist your boat, in each direction. So those will be our peak poses. I like to sequence around peak poses, which means just the poses that you kind of build yourself up to with all the stretching and maybe um, some of the core work and all of that stuff because um, yeah, every, every yoga pose requires a little bit of preparation. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started in a seated position. And for a seated position, just find a comfortable seat. If you're not totally comfortable sitting like this, you could always find a block or a pillow to sit up on and we're going to start with our centering. It's Monday and um, things tend to be a little hectic on Mondays. I know we've got a million to do's and meetings and thoughts and just all of these things coming into us from every direction. So I like to center at the beginning of class so that we can pull our attention into the present moment and really just focus on yoga and focus on yourself for the next 45 minutes. So let's start in our comfortable seat and we'll stagger vertebrae nice and tall. Relax your shoulder blades down your back. Pull up the crown of your head. Let's start with deep inhales and exhales. Maybe your eyes begin to soften or close. And let's invite the mantra silently in your mind. I am on your inhale, present on your exhale. I am present. I am present. Let's take about five more deep breaths here. I am present. Pulling yourself into the present moment. I am present. Two more breaths. Right, return to your regular breathing and let's take a moment to set an intention. Our intention can be a reminder, a promise, a goal, anything at all that you'd like to set. Maybe it's just for the rest of today. Maybe you have a goal for today or maybe it's for a little bit longer, maybe the rest of the week or month or year. And let's find our own personal intention that we'd like to set. And we'll seal our intentions in and begin our flow with one community breath. Inhale. Exhale. Start to blink those eyes open. Let's bring your hands down onto your knees and we'll start with our seated cat cows. We're gonna move our spine. On the exhale, you're gonna round your spine and pull your chest back like someone punched you in the belly. Inhale, shine your chest forward, look up towards the sky. Exhale and inhale, moving here for four, for three, Last two, and last one, exhale, inhale, exhale, come back up to your neutral spine, continue your breathing, let's drop your head down and around to the right, warming up in your neck, moving that head all the way around, feeling heavy with the head so that the neck gets a nice little stretch all the way, two more circles to the right. Nice, and we'll change directions to the left. A few circles to the left. Let's go for four. And three. Two. And last 
last one, bring it down and around, come back up to your neutral spine position and let's roll those shoulder blades up and down the back. If we've stored any tension in our shoulders, let's let it out. Moving here, kind of like a mini massage. Inhale and exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, last one. And change directions, let's roll forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, beautiful last one. Feels so nice. Come back to your neutral spine position. Let's bring the arms up on the inhale. We're start moving with our breath. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, lift up. Fill up your chest with air. Exhale, back down and we'll add a twist. Inhale, lift the arms up. Beautiful. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand comes to the ground. Left hand comes to the outside of your right thigh. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist and look over your back shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, last breath here, y'all. Inhale. And exhale. Let's unravel nice and slow and bring the arms up on the inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Let's take some deep breaths here. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, twist. Make sure you look over your back shoulder to get a twist in your cervical spine. Inhale. Exhale, last one here. Let's inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, give me cactus arms. We're gonna open the chest and the heart. Elbows come back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus arms. Beautiful, nice work. Inhale, let's paint the wall in front of you and hinge at the hips. Exhale, hinge at the hips and come forward. There we go. This is the first opening of our hip flexors. Inhale, breathe into your upper back. And exhale, walk your hands out a little bit further. Two more breaths here. All right, keeping your left sides of your hip bone down, walk your hands over to the right and push down on the left side. Two breaths here. Hands walk through the center and over to the other side. Stretch out into the right side of your rib cage. Breathe and soften. Breathe and soften. Let's come back to the center and walk the hands back up. All right, let's send those legs out in front of you. Coming to your first forward fold. Send the feet out in front of you. You can point your toes or flex your toes, whatever feels good for you. Inhale, find length, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and Fold over both legs. Drop your head down. Shake your head yes and no, releasing any tension in the back of the neck. And breathe here. Inhale, find a little bit of length. Exhale, sink down. Inhale. Exhale, last breath here, y'all. Let's start to come up. And we'll come to our side stretch one leg at a time. Right foot's gonna come out and you're gonna pull your left foot in. Left foot's to the inside of the right thigh, just like if you were doing a tree pose. All right, y'all, let's sit up tall on the inhale. Exhale, twist towards the right leg and fold over that leg. Chest is facing the thigh. Three breaths here, inhale, find length. Exhale, sink down, feel the back of your right leg opening up, inhale. Exhale, last breath, everybody. Beautiful work. And we'll turn it into a really nice side stretch. Swing your left arm up and over and turn the whole stretch into a side stretch. Now I'm stretching from my left fingertips down to my left hip. Breathe here, inhale. And exhale, sink down, two more breaths. This one's really nice for the lower back as well. If you have any lower back pain, All right, let's slowly swing that arm back up and we'll sit up tall, exhale. Pull the right foot in and left foot out. We'll switch it out, continue your breathing here. All right, inhale, arms lift high. Exhale, twist towards the left leg and fold all the way over. Breathe deep here, everybody. Inhale, exhale, sink heavy with your chest. Inhale, exhale, last breath here. And we'll turn it into a side stretch. Left hand stays where it is, right arm reaches up and over, opening and expanding through that right side body. Inhale, find length and exhale, sink down. Last one here. All right, y'all, let's start to come up. 
And I'm gonna to turn to face the long side of your mat. If you're already there, you can stay there. And we're gonna do a little bit of core work. We're gonna sit up tall. And on your exhale, option to use your hands on the back of your thighs if you need to. Exhale, we're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. And on the inhale, come back up, peeling up again. You're welcome to use your hands if you need to. A little bit of core work. Exhale, back down. And inhale, lift up. Let's do two more. Exhale, roll down through your spine. Engage your core. Inhale, lift back up. And last one. Exhale, back down. Inhale, let's lift all the way up. Continuing your breathing out. You're just going to cross your ankles and roll over onto all fours, setting up for your cat cows. Coming onto your tabletop position. Tabletop position, shoulder blades over elbows and elbows over wrists. When you're there and you're ready, we'll take some cat cows. Exhale, just like we did before, round the spine, push the hands into the mat. Inhale, drop your tummy, shine your chest forward. Exhale, and inhale, let's go three more. Exhale, inhale, last one, exhale. And inhale, come back to your neutral spine position. Let's thread the needle to stretch out the shoulders. Left hand stays where it is. On the inhale, you're gonna open your right arm out to the side. And on the exhale, slide your right hand underneath your left arm. So I'm coming down and through. And then you're gonna bring your right shoulder blade all the way down from the front. It looks like this. Coming down to thread the needle. I'm pushing my right shoulder down, my right cheek into the mat. And I've got a little spine twist there. Let's take three breaths, spreading the needle. Inhale and exhale. Last breath here. On your inhale, we're going to slowly unravel. Right arm comes back out to the side. Exhale, bring the right hand back down. Other side. Quick wiggle to reset your spine if you need it. Inhale, open up on the left arm. Beautiful, exhale, thread the needle, left hand comes underneath, drop your left cheek and your left shoulder blade down. Three breaths here, spinal twists and shoulder stretch. Inhale, slowly unravel, and exhale, let's bring it back down. We're gonna come into our first child's pose. Open your knees as wide as your mat. And on your next exhale, sink your hips back and then reach your hands forward, letting your belly fall between your thighs. Drop your forehead down. Three breaths. This is another really, really nice lower back one. Breathe into your upper back and exhale, sink down. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale. All right, y'all, we're gonna come forward and come into your cobra or up dog. Chest stays down, come forward and untuck the toes behind you. Inhale, cobra pose, forearms down or up dog. Hands are on the mat, shoulder blades rolling back. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, last breath in cobra or up dog. All right, now let's come to our first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, push all 10 fingertips into the mat. Let's lift the hips and pull your heels down. Downward facing dog, three breaths here. Pull the heels down to stretch your hamstrings. Roll your shoulder blades away from your ears. All right, now we're gonna come down into your dolphin pose. Forearms come down onto the mat. Keep your hips lifted, drop your head down, pull the heels down a little bit more. Lift those hips, y'all. Two breaths in dolphin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Coming down to puppy dog pose. Bend the knees and bring those knees all the way down onto the mat. Untuck your toes and reach your hands further. Stretching out here in puppy dog pose. Three breaths in puppy dog pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one here. Inhale. 
Exhale on your inhale or make your way back up into tabletop position. Lift your shoulder blades and bring the shoulder blades back over the hands right into tabletop position, setting up for our bird dog. Bird dog is a little core and a lot of balance. Send the right arm out in front of you. Option to just use the arm or you can send the left leg back behind you. Keep your hips square to the ground. And on the exhale, you're gonna pull your elbow and knee into your chest and inhale. Send them both back out, moving here. Keep your hips square, exhale. Inhale, beautiful, y'all. Two more, exhale. Inhale, last one here, exhale. Inhale, continuing your breathing. Option to stay here or come into tiger pose. Tiger pose, you bend the back knee. Option to stay there or you can take a bind, reaching your right hand, the one that was extended back behind you. See if you can grab onto your foot and then push the foot into the hand. There's your tiger pose. Beautiful, two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's release the bind if you took it. Keep the leg up and send the right hand back down. We're gonna flip into a wild thing with the knee down. Extend the left leg back behind you. Right hand comes to the center of the mat and you're gonna lift your hips up towards the sky. Drop your left foot down and reach your left arm. Two breaths. All right, let's slowly unravel. Send the left hand back down to the mat and then flip your hips back down. Send your left knee back down to the mat, back to all fours, coming to your cat cows again. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last one here, exhale. Inhale, setting back up for the other side, come back to your neutral spine position, left arm reaches. And then option to send the right leg back behind you. Bird duck pose, exhale, elbow and knee in. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, last two here, exhale. Inhale, option to come into your tiger pose, bending your right knee. And then you can take a bind if you'd like. Left hand reaches back to grab onto the foot, push the foot into the hand. Two breaths in that strong tiger pose. Slowly release the hand, bring the left hand back down to the mat. And option to flip your dog into a wild thing. Bring the right hip down, I'm sorry, the left hip is down and the right Leg is gonna extend. Hips flip up towards the ceiling, reach the right hand. Two breaths. All right, slowly unflip that and come back down. Let's square the hips back to the mat and come back to your down dog. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here, pulling the heels down. Pushing all 10 fingertips into the mat to relieve pressure on your wrist. Awesome, y'all. Let's lift that right leg. And we're gonna bend the right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left. Two breaths here. Feeling a stretch with your right foot pulling towards your left shoulder blade. And when you're ready, exhale, unflip those hips, bring the right hip back down. Let's flow through your chaturanga. Look to the front of the mat. Coming into plank pose, exhale, lower down. Option to drop your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, two breaths. Inhale, lift the left leg. Let's bend the knee and stack the left hip on top of the right. Pull the left foot towards your right shoulder blade and breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left foot back down, squaring the hips. Let's lift to the front of the mat. And on your exhale, come into your first forward fold. Walk your feet up to meet your hands and release all the way down. Small bend in the knees, grabbing opposite arms and elbows. Let's hang in ragdoll. Shaking your head, yes. And shaking your head, no. Two more breaths. Inhale. 
Exhale, release your hands back down to your mat. Inhale, roll all the way up. Standing mountain pose, arms lift overhead, coming to your first tree pose. Exhale, hands come through heart center, switch your weight onto your right leg. And when you're ready, you're gonna come into tree pose, left leg lifts into your tree, maybe your foot's on your ankle, up on your calf or all the way up into the inside of your right thigh. Beautiful, everybody. On the inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, show off your branches, roll your shoulder blades down your back, two breaths. Inhale, hands come through heart center. Exhale, lower the foot down, hands come down. Inhale, arms lift high, we'll take a twist. Exhale, you're gonna twist with the torso, open the arms up to a T and look over the right shoulder, twisting to the right. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Nice twist, inhale, center. Coming back to tree pose on the other side. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Switch your weight to your left leg. Inhale, right foot comes into tree wherever tree is for you. Beautiful, from the front it's gonna look like this. Bring the right foot in. Hands come through heart center. And when you're ready, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, open up those branches. Shine those branches, two breaths. Inhale, hands come through heart center. And exhale, lower the right foot back down. Inhale, arms lift. We'll do two sun A's, moving with your breath. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank pose, setting up for your chaturanga. Option to drop your knees or stay up. Exhale, lower down to the earth. Inhale, up dog or cobra forearms can be down. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, last breath here. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Exhale, back to forward fold. Step your feet up to meet your hands and release all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and inhale, reach to rise. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, forward fold. Expand through the crown of the head, finding length in the spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back through your chaturanga. Option to drop your knees, tight core, lower down slowly. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulder blades are roll back. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog for three breaths. All right, y'all, we're gonna come into your runner's lunge with the right leg, inhale, right leg lifts. On the exhale, you're gonna step your right foot through and push through your back heel. Breathing here, shine your chest forward, sink down into your left thigh, runner's lunge, three breaths. On your next exhale, lower your left knee and untuck your toes, coming down into your low lunge. We'll take a twist. Left hand comes to the inside of the right foot. And inhale, twist up towards that right leg. Pull the right knee in towards you. Two breaths in your twist. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right hand back down. Inhale, coming up to crescent lunge. Arms lift. Left knee stays down. Exhale, hands come to your lower back, taking a back bend. Inhale, finally. Exhale, shine your chest, drop your head. Three breaths here. Push down in your left knee and your right foot. <laughs> Beautiful, y'all. Inhale, begin to rise back up, stack your vertebrae. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, arms lift. And we're gonna to come to high lunge, tuck your back toes, 
exhale, push that left foot or left heel back, coming into high lunge, two breaths in high lunge, inhale, exhale, sink, inhale, exhale, twist to the right, open the arms to a T, inhale, center, come back up to the center, arms lift high, exhale, twist to the left, beautiful, inhale, back to center, Exhale, let's open up to warrior two. Exhale, lower your left heel down. Reach your arms to a T and turn to the side of your mat. Beautiful, y'all. Let's flip the front palm and reverse your warrior. Keep your front knee over your front ankle. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and back. Three breaths. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. Exhale, coming into side angle. Right arm might bend and come on top of the right thigh or come all the way down. Left arm reaches forward. Maybe we take a half bind here. Breathe here, three breaths. All right, everybody release that bind. Let's come back up nice and slowly back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg and we're gonna reverse your triangle. Stack the right hip in front of the left. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and back towards the back of your mat. Three breaths here in your reverse triangle. Inhale, expand your right rib cage. Exhale, sink a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, last one here. Inhale, let's rise up using that side body. Exhale, regular triangle pose. Reach forward, 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 right hand down. Left arm lifts. Three breaths. Inhale, let's rise back up. And on the exhale, you're gonna bend your front knee and we'll cartwheel both hands down to come through chaturanga or you can skip chaturanga and come right to downward facing dog, whichever you'd like. I'm going to turn around to face the back of the mat, ignore my flip. I'll meet you in down dog. I just flip so I don't face the back wall the whole time. So you don't have to turn. One more breath in down dog, inhale and exhale. Y'all, let's come into your low lunge or your runner's lunge. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your left foot forward and shine your chest forward, sinking down into your right thigh. Three breaths in runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last breath here. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right knee and untuck your toes on your inhale, twist towards the left leg. Right hand stays down, left arm lifts up. Option to take a bind if you'd like. Hold that twist for two breaths. Inhale and exhale, hand comes back down to square the hips. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, arms lift, sink down into the right hip now. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, hands come to your lower back, taking your back bend. Inhale, exhale, sink back, opening your chest. Two breaths. Inhale, let's start to sit up again, arms. Come back down on the exhale, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, tuck your back toes and inhale, push through the back heel, coming up to high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, sink down, let's twist, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, open your arms to a T. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right, arms open to a T. Nice, inhale, center. And exhale, open up, warrior two, other side. Drop the right heel down to square the foot to the back of the mat. Open the arms, tuck the tailbone slightly to stack the vertebrae. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe here. Front knee is pushing over the front ankle, sending energy down from your midsection through your legs into the mat. Two more breaths. Inhale, back to warrior two, rise up. 
Exhale, side angle of choice. You can take half binds. If you'd like to take full binds, you're welcome to take full binds. Two more breaths here. Release your bind and slowly come all the way back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg on your inhale. Exhale, reverse triangle. Breathe here. Inhale, finding length. And exhale, sinking down. Making our way back up, inhale, rise up. Coming right to triangle pose. Exhale, reach forward, sit back in the right hip. And inhale, left hand comes down to the front of the right shin. Right arm lifts, stack your shoulder blades. Imagine you're between two pieces of glass and you have to make your body as flat as possible. Beautiful, everyone. Grab the imaginary hook in the sky. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your front knee, cartwheel your hands back through chaturanga. Meet me in your downward facing dog. Left foot steps back, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale. Three final breaths. In, down dog, pull the heels down. Dump your cares and worries and stress onto the mat. All right, now let's make our way down onto our knees, coming back to child's pose. Bend the knees, untuck the toes, step the knees one at a time, as wide as the mat, and sit back. Three breaths in child's pose. Drop your forehead to the mat. Beautiful, everyone. On the inhale, start to make your way back up. And on the exhale, just drop your hips to one side and swing the legs around to the front of the mat. We're going to set up for our boat pose. Breathing here. Let's bend the knees. And we've got a few options for a boat pose. If you want to take it to the twist, we can take it to the twist with a bind. Maybe you start out just bent knees. Start to sit back on your sacrum. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Make sure your chest is proud and lifted. Let's start lifting one knee at a time. Right and left. Right, and left, let's keep both knees lifted. Option to stay here if you'd like, extend those legs out. Beautiful, y'all, maybe you stay here, maybe. Left hand grabs onto the right ankle and you open up to the right side. Boat twist. Coming back to the center, option to take the other side. Right hand grabs the left ankle. And twist to the left, two breaths. You can also just hold your boat or tap those toes. All right, you're coming back to the center, inhale. Exhale, let's bend the knees, bring the feet back down and roll all the way down to the earth, setting up for your bridge or wheel. Palms are gonna tend down beside you if you're taking your bridge. Bend your knees enough so that your feet are close to your tailbone. You could tickle your heels with your fingertips if you're going full wheel. Hands come up beside you, palms facing the earth. On the inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bridge or wheel. Option to take your bind and roll your shoulder blades underneath you, clasping your hands together. Pushing your fist into the mat to lift the hips even higher. Breathing here. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath here. Inhale. Exhale, release your bind. Let's peel the spine back down. Bring the arms out to a T, palms facing the earth, and windshield wiper the legs left to right for three. For two. And last one, left to right. Come back to the center and set up for your shoulder stand. Hands come down beside you. Option to just send the legs up the wall, or if you'd like, you can engage your core, hug your knees in, lift your hips up above you, and then your hands come to your lower back to help get those hips even higher. And then if you're feeling comfortable, you can extend your legs, engaging in your hip flexors to keep the legs and the hips straight. Option to stay here, you could bring the palms of your feet together, opening your knees out to the side, just for a little bit of a different pose. Two more breaths here.
All right, y'all, let's extend those legs back up if you bend. And on your exhale, slowly lower down, setting up for your fish pose. Send the legs long on your mat, point those feet. Hands are gonna come down beside you, palms facing the earth. Let's lift your sits bones up one at a time on top of your forearms. Push your elbows into the mat to puff your chest up. And then you're gonna lift your head then bring the throat open, drop the crown of the head back down to the mat. Three breaths here. On your inhale, push your elbows into the mat and curl your chin to your chest. Exhale, release everything back down and release your forearms from underneath your sits bones. Inhale, curl back into a ball and give yourself a little hug. Let's rock side to side for four, three, two, and one. Coming into our supine twist or paradise pose. Arms open out to the side, palms face the earth. Drop your knees to the left and look over the right shoulder blade. Try to keep your right shoulder on the ground. I know it wants to pop up. Breathe here. Inhale, come back up through center. And exhale, drop your knees to the opposite side. Breathe and reach, three breaths. All right, y'all, inhale, curl back into a ball. One final squeeze, thanking yourself for coming to class, giving yourself a little love. And on the exhale, full body stretch, reach arms and legs in opposite directions and release down. All right, I'd like to invite you to take the next minute or two to take any final poses, any wiggles that you need to get out as we set up for our final savasana. If savasana is not your thing and you need to keep going with your day, that's totally okay. Um, but if you'd like to stick around, we've got about five minutes for meditation. So when you're ready, when you've gotten your wiggles out, maybe make your way all the way down onto the earth or in a comfortable seated position. All right, let's begin our Savasana. Begin to feel your eyes. Soften your gaze, slowly soften in your eyelids. Begin to feel a bit heavier, relaxing deeper with every exhale. Focusing on your breath and letting the rest of the world melt away. Every inhale, notice the sensation of your chest and belly lifting the sound of your breath, the feeling of your breath. And with every exhale, notice how it feels as your body deflates, the sound of your breath and the feel of your breath. As your mind focuses on the present moment, on your breathing, begin to relax your forehead and your cheeks. Relax your jaw and find your tongue falling to the bottom of your mouth. Relax your shoulders and feel your arms flow down beside you like rivers or streams. Relax your chest and your ribs, your belly, all the way down to your lower back. Relax your hips and your glutes and feel your thighs melt down on your bones. Relax your knees and soften the space behind your knees. Relax your shins and your calves, your ankles all the way down to the tips of your toes. Scan your body for any tension. And with your next exhale, release that tension, sinking fully into your savasana. Continue your breathing in your savasana until you hear three bells.
begin to deepen your breath and slowly bring your awareness back into the present moment. You can start inviting tiny movements in your fingers and toes and let those work their way up into your arms and legs, maybe letting your torso rock side to side. And when you're ready, you can join me in a seated position with as little effort as possible. As you move or stay, take a moment to check in with yourself. Become aware of any sense of calm or peace or power that you might have built within yourself in the next 45 minutes or in the last 45 minutes. Let's seal the feelings that we created today in with one community breath. Inhale, exhale. The light in me honors and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.